Alright, so a bit of story time actually. The Siege Breaker was my first ever legendary weapon that I got in, in Fortnite Save the World because when I came over from Battle Royale, I immediately saw the legendary scar and I was like, yep, this is the gun that I want and I'm getting it. <laughs> and literally ever since down there in like Plankerton and Candy Valley, the Siege Breaker has done nothing but excellence for me. I, I literally remember like starting off playing the game, playing playing like some, some random soldier loadout with like the cluster bomb hero that throws the grenades, I forgot who it was. I think it was uh, Jonesy in like the winter set or something. And just having fun shooting things with the legendary scar and I was like, wow, this is amazing, this gun's awesome. But then, when I got towards the end game of Twine Peaks and all that, I was like, damn, this gun really isn't holding up to it anymore. But that was, that was years ago, right? And since then, there's been a lot of changes. First of all, the Siege Breaker just got a flat out base damage increase, and it actually just does more damage now. So, per bullet. It wasn't by much, but there was an update, I think the 12.0 update, where they just flat out increased, or just buffed a lot of weapons, and the Siege Breaker was one of them, man. So it does a bit more damage uh, than what it used to. And on top of that, Affliction is actually really, really powerful. Affliction is a really powerful perk. Uh, you can literally just, just like shoot one bullet at like, a zapper, a regular husk, a baby husk, a lobber, and just watch the affliction uh, tickle them away. And you know the affliction can also crit as well. So if it crits, yeah, literally all, literally one bullet, even in like the 164 players, they're gonna they're gonna go down to one bullet. But yeah, the perk setup here is really standard. Uh, it's just it's crit rating, crit damage with a reload speed perk. You can also go max size if you, if you prefer that. I like reload speed because the reload speed uh, helps my uptime a bit more as opposed to just reloading and stuff. So. And then also, uh, there's, there's heroes in, in the loadout that actually help our magazine size that I'll get into later, but yeah. And then here, the, the, the fifth perk here is just matching your sixth perk here. Uh, damage and mismonster and bosses is great, but we want to shoot everything with it, right? And, you know, the only other perk that makes sense here, you know, the, the, the impact isn't that high on the Siege Breaker. So not like we're not, we're not going to get much use out of this perk here. And then we're not slowing and staring targets, we're uh, afflicting them. So obviously we're going to go damage to afflicted. The six perks... This one's pretty bad. This one's like okay, I guess if you if you know how to aim, uh, the snare is also solid, but affliction just does so much damage, and the, the crit rating perk also is pretty solid. But I, I mean, like I said, affliction is just such a strong six perk that it's like might as well just use it. But yeah, that's that, that's a perk setup, really standard. Uh, as for the element, I'm going into a nature zone, so that's why it's on fire right now. Uh, if you only have one schematic of it, or just want to use it in, in like pretty much any zone, you can use energy. If you're going to water, nature, if you're going to uh, fire, use water. Physical, if you're like, I don't know, <laughs> doing MSK, I guess, with the Siege Breaker. I wouldn't recommend that, but sure. But anyways, let's go to the hero loadout. Very cookie cutter soldier loadout, we're just running Sledgehammer in the lead. Get that crit damage all the way up. That's where, that's where we're going to get a lot of our damage from, those big crits. And we're going to get a lot of crits by using Totally Rocking Out. And Totally Rocking Out, I mean, like, you guys know what Totally Rockin' Out does, you know, crit rating, heals us whenever it activates too nice. So we got Battle Beat to activate a Rockin' Rift to actually activate Totally Rockin' Out if we're on a bit of a kill streak. We got Quinn here as well, to, so we can get Wafers, and Wafers we can activate it on command. It's, it's really great for dealing with Smashers, because of Smashers, uh, we can see a Smasher, pop a Wafer, and just delete it. It's pretty good. And, uh, you know, here, here we have a Rescue Trooper Ramirez. Just a flat out increase to our assault weapon, which is what we'll be using. Here we have Skull Ranger Ramirez. You can also use uh, Skull Trooper Jonesy. It's the exact same hero, just reskinned. Uh, so after reloading, we get a 50% damage increase as well. <clears throat> this is great because uh, since we have that reload perk too, we, we reload really, we reload really fast, and then we uh, just get back into the action like that, and then we get a nice little damage increase too. And then here we have Sergeant Stripe Jonesy. He was in the event shop last season, so I, I hope he got him. And I, oh yeah, I, I guess I'll have to say. If, if you missed out on Sledgehammer, uh, Breakbeat Wildcat, Quinn, Jonesy, I feel really sorry for you. They were literally in the event shop last season. The season started like a week ago, or ended like a week ago. So uh, you can't get these heroes anymore until next year, unless you voucher them and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry. But Skull Ranger, you can get right now in the Fort Nightmares Llamas. And Ramirez is a base game hero. So I think I'm pretty sure she's actually the starter hero that you get when you start the game. So yeah. But yeah, so Start and Stripe Jonesy, he increases your mag size pretty much. He uh, refunds every shot that you, or not every shot, has a chance to refund every shot that you take. And that just pretty much increases your mag size, increases your uptime while shooting. And because we got that reloader perk, we, we basically have mag size perk and reload perk in the same gun. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. 
He uh, just basically in increases mag size while also conserving ammo. That, 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 that's what he does. He's a good hero. And then gadgets, adrenaline rush, I get the healing just in case. We are running totally rocking out, so we're going to be pretty fragile. And then the turret, just do some more damage. You can also like, use slow field, I guess, if you want to be more supported, but we want to kill things, so yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I'll be taking this into this 160 category 4 mission. I'm just going to do some, find some randoms and uh, do with them and just see how it goes. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so I found a nice little cam in here. Uh, we've already found the atlases, placed them all down. Uh, I'm just let my teammates just work on building the defense, told them to break and build and brick because it is a nature zone. Nature's, nature has to do double damage to metal. But yeah, I got some wafers, got the siege breaker here, and let's test it out on this medium encampment. Let's see how it is. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just gonna pop a wafer. Okay, we got some pretty. Alright, it's actually a pretty bad uh, wave to uh, showcase the siege breaker off because it's crowd control or it's crowd clearing isn't like the strongest and this is also a healing dark first mission but as you can see here like the nurse is just dying a couple bullets it's kind of crazy the shielders die i'm reloading for no reason really but yeah see the crowd clearing on the siege breaker isn't like the best especially because there are nurses here and it's healing death first but even without with those with that bit of a tricky encamp we were able to handle it pretty nicely totally rocking out came into clutch there and uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find a bigger target to showcase this, that this gun on. Yeah, we got a nice little crowd here. We got a Mr. Zappy face there. <clears throat> I'm just gonna kill out this this crowd here. And yeah, we got a big crowd here actually. Okay, I got totally rocking out act, and I'm just gonna shoot the blaster, and it's gone. <laughs> Dude, that was like I don't even know how many bullets that was, but it was a very small amount of bullets, and the blaster was just dead. Power level 160 is no problem for the siege breaker. With totally rocking out active and stuff. But yeah, I'm trying to look for a smasher. I don't know if I can find one. My team might be yelling at me, being like, why the fuck is this fucking uh, guy not fucking helping out with the defense? But <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll just. Oh, a taker, actually. Let me do this before I do anything crazy. No totally rocking out active. Oh, my aim sucks. Please pardon that. But yeah, and then the affliction kills it off. Nice. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good. I think that was a good test. I think. I'm honestly just going to give up Smasher, because we are probably going to find Smashers in the actual mission itself. we got two floating Atlases, so it shouldn't be too hard. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be back when the mission starts. Alright, mission started. we got some pretty good defenses, and uh, yeah, let's just see what we can do. I'm going to be playing a bit close to the base here, so that I don't get zapped too much. we got a lot of debris in the way, though. Oh god, I should have cleared this out, but hey, it's fine. I'll start shooting things in just a minute. I also got some wafers. Wait, yeah, let's start shooting shit. So, uh, yeah. I mean, nothing crazy right now. It's just a bunch of regular husks. Oh, a smasher. Oh, 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 I'm excited now. I'm excited. Get a wafer. And let's just fire every bullet that we got into this thing. Oof, look at that. Almost a one mag, actually. Crazy. I, I, if I reloaded before, uh, I actually would have one mag that smasher. Pretty crazy. But yeah, we, oh, another smasher. Lovely. Hell yeah. Let me reload. And, oh, it's, it's a 160 one. That's kind of funny. But yeah, I mean, obviously that was no issue. Gonna adrenaline rush to get some healing. I'm actually getting zapped pretty hard. Uh, that is the issue with totally rocking out, you know. It's like, yeah, you get all this damage, but you are pretty fragile, so just be careful when using this team perk. Yeah, just shooting through this crowd here, applying affliction. The affliction is kind of, unfortunately, uh, cancelled out by the. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna die. By the. <clears throat> by the healing death first. But. On a single target like that, uh. Oh. Like that blaster, and on this smasher, yeah, it does so much damage. The siege breaker, look at that. Pretty much one mag deal with the affliction. Kill that blaster that's in my face. It's getting body blocked. It's kind of annoying, actually. It's fine. Eat another wafer. Keep the team bird going. Kill this blaster. And yeah, it's just deleted. One thing about the siege breaker, too, is that it's, uh,. Its fire rate is pretty good, even when, uh, even when it's sunbeam, I mean, I mean obviously I'm using a sunbeam siege breaker, right? But even when it's sunbeam, the fire rate is like just under 11 bullets per second, which is really strong actually. It's really fast how how uh, how much it shoots, or how, how fast it shoots. So yeah, that's another plus size of it. <clears throat> uh, storm is changing direction, it's okay, we can kill this taker. I, I don't think we even need to get away from this thing. Yeah, it's just completely just cleaned by the by the siege breaker here. We have storm rotated. Oh, I mean, it, it's still pretty much on the same area. Heard some flingers though, that's kind of annoying. Oof, yeah, a lot of flingers. Alright, let me see if I can take care of these guys. I don't even know where the hell they're at. They're over here. Ooh, hey, Mr. Flinger. 
I'll do that. And it's gone. We just let the affliction kill the flinger. And there it is. Shoot these baby husks. There's a husky up here too. There's another flinger in this direction, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, even the husky just like gets completely demolished. Go this lobber. Shoot at these huskies. Oh, there's a baby husk on me. Yeah, do this thing. Eat a wafer. I'm gonna try and kill this flinger. <coughs> it's getting body blocked. Oh no, there's two flingers inside of each other. Wait, pause. Anyways, uh, put a turret here. I'm getting kind of low. Let me get some health. I'm getting zapped. <coughs> but yeah, there are some lobbers. Lobbers just, you know, get clapped e easily. Yeah, another husky, no issue. Zapper. Damn, it's so annoying playing against zappers, like, actually. They do so much damage at this, at this level. We'll just pop the adrenaline rush. I don't want to... I don't want to eat away for right now. But yeah, we just keep shooting at these guys. I'm playing... I'll play more back, actually. The zappers are kind of fucking me up. Just try and play my distance. Oh, the, we, we have base MD on this. Yeah, I should be just sitting on this base perma the entire game then. Oh, there's a propane husky. That's annoying. I will repair this. I popped the wafer because I saw a blaster. Yeah, we just take care of that thing. No problem. Oh, uh, there's a lot of propane though. I should be paying more attention to this. <coughs> that propane's gone. Another propane. Just trigger that one. Uh, shoot more zappers. There are a lot of zappers that we're playing against. It's kind of annoying. But hey, whatever. No biggie. Trigger that propane maybe too. Yeah. And then trigger its buddy too. Yeah, that is one thing. Uh, the, the, the Siege Breaker does uh, proc propane. It does shoot light bullets. So uh, be wary when shooting into a crowd of enemies. You might accidentally trigger some propane inside of a tunnel. But uh, yeah, okay, we got another wave going. I wish we would get more smashers because I just want to. I just want to hunt smashers right now. If I'm being honest, but well, I'm lagging a little bit. Well, that's not very good. All right, we're back. <clears throat> yeah, I just want to hunt smashers. Yeah, the regular Husker just not even an issue. Just a couple bullets and they're gone. Uh, the nurse, a little bit problematic, but still no issue. We got totally rocking out active. Also, I do recommend placing some traps if you are running totally rocking out so that you can actually have it up more often. I, I didn't place any traps besides freeze traps, so uh, my uptime isn't always active. My, yeah, my, my, my uptime isn't like the highest right now. But even without the uptime, just like, just a standard perk, and a, dude, of course it's a fucking smokescreen miniboss, man. Like, it just, <laughs> it just has to be smokescreen when I want to showcase the Siege Breaker. <clears throat> so, uh, unfortunately, if you guys don't know what smokescreen does, basically, ranged weapons do a lot less damage than what they are intended to do. I mean, it's like, I, I, I can't even kill the nurse, or I, I can barely kill the nurse in the smokescreen. Because then the healing and the smokescreen affect itself, so... Yeah, this guy's shooting at it with the hemlock, uh, kind of does nothing, but hey, so be it. <clears throat> oh, he did go down. Oh yeah, well, I will say the minigun, the minigun does go through a uh, smokescreen because it is an ability. However, it is pretty wishful thinking that we can actually, am I even shooting? I don't even know if I'm shooting at it. But yeah, it's pretty wishful thinking that we can, thinking that we can kill this. Uh, the abilities are nice, there's a defender shooting at Husk over here. But yeah, I mean, like, the Siege Breaker is just like, like, like this, this This video is probably going to be good for the newer player that watches the video. And, uh, you know, thinking that the Siege Breaker might just be a bad weapon, or or, or maybe they're like how I was, where I was hoping it'd be good the entire game. And yeah, it actually is, it's pretty good. It's, it's very strong in the early and mid game, if I'm being honest. A bunch of get the twine, yeah, it is going to fall off a little bit. <clears throat> but still, if you have, like, a good loadout, you should be completely fine, so, like, don't even sweat it. Uh, yeah, I feel kind of bad that I can't really help against the mini boss. Uh, I mean, I, I, yeah, actually, I, sh I should be over here, just in case. The whole team is over here. Yeah, they trapped it up pretty good, though. Broadsides and freeze traps, pretty good. Ooh, ooh, there's a lot of lot of husk here. A lot of husks. And I want to shoot all the husks. So, yeah, let's just shoot them. Yeah, pretty good trapping my team did here. Sometimes public 160s aren't the worst. Sometimes they can be kind of dreadful to play in, but... Sometimes you get lobbies like these where... Yeah, the players actually know what they're doing. And yeah, some Mist Monster, perfect. I can pop away for now. And just delete it from existence. Or before I get deleted from existence. The baby husks do so much damage. <clears throat> so yeah, more blasters. The damage fall off of the bullets is actually kinda low, but it's still decent damage enough in that at this range. As yeah, you can just see here, they just got deleted. Even with the damage fall off going on. Kill this blaster. 
no totally rocking out active. Yeah, damage fall off kind of ruining my, my fun there, but hey, don't worry about it. But yeah, that's uh, that's a Siege Breaker. Siege Breaker, good gun, very good beginner friendly gun. Uh, it can carry you through most of the content in the game. And even here in the 160s, you can actually still do still perform well with it. Yeah, so the Siege Breaker, it's often found in mission alerts too. Oh, you can find it in mission alerts and ventures or in just regular missions. But yeah, hope you guys liked the video. And this is my first weapon review, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more of this type of content. I do other types of content too, like builds and defenses and ventures content. So, and hero reviews too. So, hey, if you like what you see and you want more of it, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Channel has been blowing up recently. So, just help me keep the momentum going, and I would really appreciate it. So, yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day or evening, or wherever you live at, and yeah, bye-bye, and take care.